हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम टू डी आर नर्सिंग क्लासेस टूडेज टॉपिक इज द हॉस्पिटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन इन दिस द स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्टिव टू इंट्रोड्यूस द टॉपिक हॉस्पिटल एज एन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेकंड वन इज टू डिफाइन द हॉस्पिटल थर्ड वन इज टू एक्सप्लेन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ हॉस्पिटल फोर्थ वन इज द टू डिस्कस इवोल्यूशन ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फिफ्थ वन इज द टू एक्सप्लेन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रिंसिपल इन द वर्ल्ड द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज द इंट्रोडक्शन द हॉस्पिटल इज द मेड ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेस ऑफ द क्लिनिकल डिपार्टमेंट द नर्सिंग सर्विसेज डायग्नोसिस सर्विसेज एंड द एक्जिलरी सर्विसेज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ अ ग्रुपिंग द नेसेसरी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू द इन टू वर्क वर्कबल यूनिट डिटर्मिनिंग लाइनिंग ऑफ द अथॉरिटीज एंड द कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन एंड द डेवलपमेंट द पेरेंट ऑफ द कॉर्डिनेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन्वॉल्व द सिस्टमाइजिंग ऑफ ऑल द टेक्निकल एंड द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एक्टिविटीज एज टू एफर्ट सैटिस्फैक्शन टू कंस to customer employees and the agencies that make it the possible to organize to organization structure will depend on size of hospital next one is the definition uh, a hospital is the institution which is the specialized and the economical organizes for the prevention diagnosis and the treatment of the disease and uh, next org- organization of the function of the hospital the different department their, their organization and the function are the described below uh, re- reception the it is received patient with illnesses and the direct to opd to or emergency first one is the reception list who is the skill in the communication skill the second is the nurses who will be present to clear the inquiry and the guide to the patient to work your department they needed to go to she will maintain all the kind of the register like patient administrator register uh, ipd register opd register staff uh, enroll enrollment register complaint register fee collection register bill books etc etc the next one is the inpatient department the nurses collect the inpatient number and direct the patient toward the specific ward the check tpr weight height and the uh, anthropometric measurement of the patient the c also first one is the receive the patient and the provide care second one is the fill the nurses record and the care causes sheet of patient details third one is the carry out all the orders given by the physician fourth one is the keep the bed and the patient unit clean fifth one is the check all the equipment linen and the supply supply and keep them the well stock and the perfect working condition sixth one is the takes care of the patient until he she get the discharge seventh is the send the patient to diagnosis if required next one is the uh, out patient department means the o- opd patient opd department Uh, this department the performance of the following function the it receive the patient return the data about the patient collect in the history and the does the patient physical examination in the specific as per the patient disease condition second one is the patient will be the in- enrolled in the opd register given a number of the specific const- construction room the patient will be the guided by the nurses to meet the doctor correct The third one is the after the consultation, the doctor decides whether the patient need to be the admitted for the beside care or not. Fourth one is the if admission is the required OPD nurses committed the IPD nurses to get the patient admitted. Fifth one is OPD nurses also receive patient transfer for other hospital emergency department after first aid or the from other ward transfer. Sixth one is the nurses is the OPD should be alert to directed all kind. of patient specific to what as the per their condition then constellation room the each department exam department for example the psychiatric of obstetric and the gynecological adult medicine etc should have a separate constellation room the where there is a chief and assistant doctor and two nurses will perform their the duties to analyze the diagnosis of the patient next one is the administrative department there will be an administrative office with a chief administrative officer will also have the assistant officer first one is the secretary secretary one officer one treasury one clerk two accountant two or three pun two and the sweep sweepers has two they function to the coordinated coordinated the management activity of the hospital they are the responsible for the following first one is the providing salary and the reimbursement or to all the staff in the hospital second one is the maintaining and the repairing the hospital building required third one is the providing finances for all the kind of the ex- expenditure made in the hospital welfare the fourth one is the supervising of the work of all the staff fifth one is the coordinating 
with the chief medical officer and the nursing superintendent to the ensure the smooth functioning of the hospital sixth one is the conduct teen medical and the nursing adult then next one is the hierarchy of the hospital administrator uh, first one is the chief medical officer then nursing superintendent one uh, next below assistant nursing superintendent one then head nurse for each ward then ward in charge staff then staff nurse then sweeper attendant and compounder the next one is the continue the co assistant co secretary one treasury one clerk accountant then sweeper then nursing department uh, this is the one of the most important wing in the hospital all the nurses wear are the trained nurses who have the completed jnm pbbsc msc nursing pbbsc nursing they are the registered the uh, nursing counseling and the approved by the specific department in the hospital the next one is the function of chief nursing officer first one is the nursing superintendent is the chief officer for all the staff nurses in the hospital she does planning coordination supervision controlling reporting to the higher medical officer and the dele- uh, delegating the work schedules to other nurses second one is the she follows and the adapts the patient clarification system which help to the recurrence assign the, as, and the all collect the required staff at the right place and right time the patient classification system help to the qualify the quali- qualities of the hospital and nursing room then continue the according to the tnai and the inc nursing superintendent follow the hospital where the strength to the allo- allocated the nurses as per the norm staff is delegated dilet- as follow a nursing officer cno one per uh, 500 bed b nursing superintendent one the per 100 bed c deputy nursing superintendent one per 300 bed d assistant nursing superintendent one per 100 to 150 bed e uh, ward sister in charge one per every 25 to 35 bed f staff nurses are allotted one for each e bed in the general ward of the teaching hospital and one for five beds in non teaching hospital then continue g uh, one staff nurses for the nursing research activity h for the out outpatient department and emergency one staff nurses to 100 patient third one is the the cno explain the job description to each staff nurses so supervisor staff in the her prob- probation nurse period and allocate the delegated the responsibility according to the patient for the one is the she or he report to co or the medical officer regularly conduct a round it in the hospital regular to check out the functioning clean in less of the hospital the next fifth one is the she is uh, she is uh, he takes up the attendance of the all staff nurses plan and implemented and a duty roster to the staff nurses and conducting the nurses round six on the she or he recurrent the nurses needed coordinated work with the entire department seven is the she or he conducted the ensures the education the encourage the continuing education in the order to improve the personal and the professional growth of the nurse then eight one is she or he conducted nursing adult does any code of the report, uh, reporting in the order to elevate the nursing care given with a uh, ultimate goal to improve the quality of the nurse nursing care the nine one is the uh, she or he make the sure that all the t- these type of jobs and the follow the code of ethics and the regulation of the hospital ten one is the she or he has the right to terminate any nurse if she find they misbehave for the entering hospital regulation she also encourage and the participate in the all round development of the nurses especially in the nursing research activity then next point is the central sterile and the supply department means cssd uh, this is the main department re- uh, responsible of the supplying sterile equipment to all the department it take care of the following first one is the maintaining the income incoming stock and the register second one is the uh, secreting trays the articles inlays and the supply that are autoclave pa- pack label and uh, redirect to be sent to each department next one is the diagnostic department this is including the laboratory that has a chief laboratory technician the assistant who the collect the diagnosis chief perform a uh, specific test and uh, given the result back and then uh, sometime if the needed he the goes to the bedside collecting a specimen and the uh, make 
ensure that the result reaches the specific department. Next one is they maintain the separated patient register for the IPD and the OPD. This department has the many division like the separate laboratory for all the kind of the invasive tests, X-ray department, CT scan, MRI, PET, etc. The next one is the biomedical engineering. Uh, they are the responsible to the maintain the and uh, repair the instrument and the machine that are used in the specific ward. For example, ventilation equipment, defibrillation equipment, etc. The next one is the dietary department. This is the department is uh, responsible for the supplying the right diet to all the patient in the hospital the detection in the chief head the department she or he will coordinate it with all the health team member in the hospital to plan the diet for the patient he needed she always make sure that all the patient give hygienically prepared with meal in the right amount canteen facility hospital also be canteen facility for is for the visitors and the patient family who stay with the patient. Then next one is the emergency or casualty. This is a 24 hours working department equipment with the machine bed, cots and staff. An ambulance vehicle is also ready to collect a patient under emergency condition. Next one there is the always in the emergency team the keep ready it the including the doctor in charge, emergency staff nurses, ward boys, the anesthetic etc. They also maintain the staff and the patient register. Next one is the operation theater OT Requiry Room. It is the place where the surgery is performed for the patient in needed of it. Visitors are the restricted to OT. The nurses in charge look after the order function. She is coordinated with the OT chief doctor plan the operation schedule and accordingly keep the OT theater ready. There is the circulating the nurses and the scrubbing nurses both of whom assist of functioning of the OT. Next one is the, they are the receive the sterile uh, operation operation instrument from the CSSD maintaining the cleanliness of the OT and the call the anesthetic. They report to the specialist the surgeon about the patient to be operated. Report the patient continue after surgery to the post bottom post operation the or sister and the maintaining instrument register linen and the supply register staff in one register etc. The next one is the specialized department, the, the intensive the care unit the, means ICC, the intensive coronary care unit ICCU, the intensive the medical care unit MICO and the neonatal intensive care unit NICO are the specialized department in the hospital. Here the patient with the serious condition are the treated with the specialized equipment for example ventilator, def defibrillator, pulse oximeter cardiac monitor, suction apparatus, etc. visitors are the restricted in the department. Then next on the ICU nurses is the specialized and trained to look after patient with the serious illness. She or he maintenance staff the environment register equipment, register patient, register drugs, register etc. Then biomedical waste management department. Uh, they are the responsible to the uh, eradic the waste that is the brought out from the hospital members under these are the coordinated by the nurses in charge who ensure that are the wastes are disposed appropriately the separated condition back in insulation is used to the disposes and the burn the waste emergencies to from the hospital then next one is the isolation unit this department is the kept at the distance for main building of the hospital it the admitted patient with the communicable diseases such as the tuberculosis leprosy and gastro interest is HIV etc. Uh, there is the separated infection control nurses in charge and in isolation the nurses in charge who ensure that all the staff nurses follow various techniques. That is the medical assessment the before and the nursing care after the providing good care to all the patient and the maintenance staff in our med register then patient register then dish de dish deal register the equipment supplies register etc. The next one is the postmortem room or the autopsy. This is this is the place where the dead the patient are the brought for postmortem. Chief medical officer for the CMO uh, elevated the postmortem autopsy is the done by class four worker. Is trained is in his function. Postmortem the staff also coordinated in the for forensic department to identify prob problematic causes. Next one is the CMO fills the autopsy. From after the arrival of the police constable who verify the body, a nurse assists the doctor in writing the autopsy report. 
the dead body is the stored in the cold chamber until the uh, inquiry is arrived to the climate the death certificate is issued after the completed verification done by the autopsy team then maintain dead patient register patient cold chamber preservation register forensic done patient register discharge body register and the staff register the next one is the forensic department this department has a doctor specialized in the forensic medicine and the in charge and a forensic nurse assistant for testing it coordinated with the autopsy department causes under the cbi and all kind of the medicological cases next one is the pharmacy this is the medical store in the hospital which keep open 24 hours it makes available the medicine required by the patient and the hospital then next one is the research department this is one of the main wing of the any hospital it conduct the research activity to improve the quality of care then research ethical review committee rerc evaluate the research activity and ensure the safety during patient care next one is the counseling department it main aim to the provide the guidance for the patient for example family planning hiv testing guidance genetic counseling etc a psychiatric psychologist and specialist in the guidance and the counseling uh, nurses provide this guidance and counseling next one is the housekeeping there is a housekeeping in charge that is responsible for the maintaining the safety and the security of the patient she or he makes a frequent round at and the supervises the work of the sweeper and the attendants ensure the cleanliness of the hospital and the control of the activities of the sweeper and the security guards next one is the laundry department they do the washing and the cleaning of the patient dresses etc and the make sure the it is reaches the specific ward in the time they maintain incoming and outgoing register then rehabilitation center at a center patient who are the mentally retired the mentally affected or the physically handicapped handicapped are given care and the training so they, that they are able to maximize their the capacity to life for example at a clinical for the mentally registered people occupational therapy is given through basket making the candle making the tailoring etc this enabling the patient to live by their own next one is the nursing station there are the nursing station at each the ward there where the nurses stay and the supervision the work of the ward they maintaining the causes seat of all the patient keep in the ward the nurses rest room the pres- uh, present near the nursing station is the used by the nurses to have the food and rest then other important department are the present in the hospital are the follow first one is the book blood bank one second one is the pediatric opd second the third one is the immunization clinic two fourth one is i opd one fifth one is the ent opd fifth sixth one is the cardiac lab one then seven is the bron- uh, bronchoscopy lab one eight one is the uh, prenatal opd one nine is the family planning opd one ten is the medical opd one eleven is the central opd one then 12 is the central sample collection center one 14 is the orthopedic opd one For, uh, 14 is the uh, obstetric and the gynecology opd one then x ray opd one skin opd one when real the disease center 3 uh, then 18 number of uh, the ke- chemotherapy opd two the neurology opd one psychiatric opd one Gen- uh, genitori uh, genito urinary opd one then organization principle in the ward management a basic principle of the basic principle of the so called authorized the organization are the listened by the ward but uh, brought on and the brokenness and the are adapted are here to hospital organization for the authority centralizes in the individual the director of the hospital responsibility may be delegated along the establish that the director of the hospital delegating to the director of the nursing services the responsibility for seeing and the patient in the hospital are where nurses the standard of the good nursing are the determined by the director of the nursing services and the her staff member then fourth thing is the clear and clear and the uh, ambiguous the delegation of the authority must be accompany the delegation of responsibility the director of the nursing services since he is the responsible for the quality of nursing care the must have the authority to employ and discharge nurses and other nursing service personnel sixth one is the patient the through which is the delegated the authority will flow the must be the clear and the ambi- 
ambiguously they are defined no individual shall receive the suggestion covering the same topic from more than one person uh, second the duty and the activities must be assigned down through the line of authority so the performance of the duties assigned to any level will be checked by the next higher level through the system facility for the corporation and the coordination must be the provided through the group meeting conference common planning return the instruction reports and the like and nine one is the there the must be the flexibility of the operation system condition within the instruction make it the advisable to the very relationship for the usual pattern uh, thank you so much the for watching my video